Hi everybody, um, I just want to share my quick thoughts on the concept of a Muslim superhero in Marvel and DC comic books. And um, I personally think it's not a bad idea, but I think sometimes it would be confusing to separate between race and religion. Um, but my main, but my main um, discussion is the trailer. I thought the trailer was okay. It it does feel very kid friendly, and um, even though it's aimed for young children, I'm still gonna see this new iteration of Miss Marvel, because it's Marvel basically, and um, I don't want to miss every minute of every Disney Plus TV series, such as Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, and so on. The trailer, the trailer in itself. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings with it as well, and um, I think I th I think I should share my two cents on this because one thing I can say is that I'm glad they changed her powers. I think the powers in her comic books were were a bit too confusing for my taste because um, I accidentally compare her to Mister Fantastic um, of the Fantastic Four. And um, her her polymorphic powers isn't isn't really that interesting. They've, I'm just glad that they've changed her powers, and um, I'm cautiously optimistic for this one because I think um, I think they've lost the idea of the hero's journey. She's supposed to be like um, the female version of Peter Parker, and um, learning the toughness of responsibility. Um, and such, and um, I, I, I don't think her ethnic background or her heritage of faith should be should be an obstacle to her. It should have been more about her her everyday life as a member of Western society, and um, I'm not bothered about Muslim female Muslim characters um, not wearing any headscarves. Um, all I care about is the hero's journey and a c character driven story regardless of uh, their ethnic background or their heritage of faith and so on. That's how I personally feel about this particular version of Miss Marvel and um, I understand people's frustration and um, confusion.